Hello, my lords. Uh, I know you're looking at me and going, wait, didn't I see that outfit already? You are, because for me, uh, it is still Saturday, even though for you, I think it's Sunday. Uh, I really enjoyed the matinee of Willy Wonka earlier at Montverde, and now I'm about to see something just as utterly different as it possibly could be. Uh, I am on my way into the Renaissance Theater to see Cocaine Play, uh, which guarantees to be very adult, very irreverent, and I'm hoping a lot of fun. Can you tell this show is about cocaine? In case you didn't know. In case you were wondering. In case you were unsure. I'm at the Cocaine Play. Cocaine. No, I'm very excited. I love the play space. I haven't seen anything in here that's not NOS, so like, I'm thrilled. Cocaine Play had no intermission, which means I haven't talked to you since the beginning of the show. The lovely Melanie is here with me. Hi. She was my date this evening. I was. Uh, she won these tickets, so that's how I ended up here. Wow. I, I feel like I'm the lucky one, Melanie. Aww. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I very, very much enjoyed the show. Uh, I was promised uh, sex, drugs, and mental breakdowns, and I feel like that's what was delivered to me. <laughs> I feel like that was an accurate description. Yeah. Sex, drugs, and mental breakdowns, yep. which are three of my favorite things. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it is definitely not for the faint of heart, and it is definitely not for the underage. Um, oh, yeah, a little bit of This is a very <laughs> adult show, uh, but it's very powerful. Um, I think the emotional core of it is really beautiful. It's a lot about... Uh, kind of feeling dead inside and uh, trying to fill that void or feeling unhappy. Uh, it is also about cocaine uh, in case you thought maybe the show was a misnomer. It's not. They did pass out yeah. tiny, tiny little bags of this isn't real, nothing is real, and it's got a little uh, devil lady on it. Mallory, how did you get such bags? Okay, so Adonis targeted me for sure um because this bag like direct eye contact was made and then this bag was handed to me during the lines that said people who were making weird original content and i'm just saying i don't know if it's an insult or a compliment but it was definitely being targeted but it's fair uh yeah but it's accurate accurate yeah i also thought that the projections were really really cool um it makes it like kind of overstimulating and chaotic there's definitely a strobe-induced seizure warning for this show uh, because there's a lot of content coming at you real fast. But I think that that amount of content like lends itself to the story and is really, really well chosen. Absolutely, because it's meant to be disorienting. And, you know, mm -hmm. that's exactly what we got. It was really a ton of fun. All I of the performers, it. top tier. I, I mean, I'm partial to the devil, but uh, that's just a personal opinion. I think everybody else is great too. Yeah, Grace was uh, Grace. Devil. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think Adonis has written an incredible script and that Blake and Donald have done a fantastic job creating and directing this show. Uh, it's got to some like good solid humor. Like you will also laugh a lot. You're going to just feel a lot of feelings during this show. So be ready for that. But they have a whole weekend left. Their shows Thursday, Friday, and Saturday upcoming. And if you can, you absolutely should come see this. Right. Once it's a hit good time. Rent. Yeah, they're all hits at the Ren. I don't know yeah. if you're aware, they're all hits at the Ren. And are you ready to blow a kiss? Yeah. So I will see you tomorrow.